In this tutorial we're going to batch rename the files over here in the folder to something more useful like the person's name inside of the PDF file to get a result like this. So let's dive right into it. The first thing we need is an app called Power Automate. Windows 11 has this app pre-installed so you can just search for Power Automate. The other option to get it is by logging in into office.com using your Microsoft 365 account. When you go to apps, you can see Power Automate and install it from there. The other thing we need is the folder with the files in it and we need an Excel sheet. The Excel sheet that is opened now is the Excel sheet I've used to build this PDF file. It's not a problem if you don't have the data yet. So let's have a look on what data in the Excel sheet is necessary. These are the names we want the files to be renamed to. So create a column that contains the new file names without an extension. These other columns contain data I've used to build PDF files. So it's optional to keep that or to throw it away. The other necessary part for the Excel sheet is the old file names. So we're going to create a column that will contain dataset 1 till dataset 40. We also need it one time with the extension. So we get dataset 1 till dataset 40.pdf. A fast way to do so is by selecting all the data sets, hold down your shift key, right click and select copy as path. Now head back over to Excel and copy and paste the paths in the Excel sheet. Now we only need the file name, so these paths to the folder is actually unnecessary. So we're going to select it and copy it. Now that the text is copied, we're going to click Ctrl F and click on the Replace option. Now click on Replace, search for the folder part and replace it with nothing. Now we have the column with the old file names with the extension. So the last thing we need is the column with the old file name without any extension. So this column must contain data set 1 till 40 without .pdf or any extension. So I've already copied and pasted the column. Now we're going to search for .pdf and replace it with nothing. So now we have a Excel sheet with all the mandatory parts in it. We have the new names, the names we want the file to be renamed to. We have some optional data, which is okay to keep. We have the old names without the extension and we have the old names with the extension. Okay, so now the Excel part is done. Let's go ahead and save the document. Now we can get started in Power Automate. In Power Automate, we're going to create a new flow. The object for this flow is going to be to let Power Automate see what is inside of the Excel sheet and use that data to rename the files. This is the screen where we can build the flow. We're going to add the launch Excel file first. So we click on Excel and drag in launch Excel. This option we're going to change to open the following document. And by clicking on this icon, we can choose the file we've just created. When the file is selected, you can click on save and this will create the first action in our flow. The next step in our flow will be the loop function. The loop function can read the rows in the Excel sheet. So we drag in the loop function and start with the first row and end with the last row, which is the 40, 40th row. So make sure to check your own data sheet to see what the start point is and what the end point is and enter it over here. The increment can be set to 1 because we need all the rows to be read. Next step is to tell Power Automate that it should read the data within the Excel. So we're going back to Excel. And over here we choose Read from Excel. And we drag it between loop and end. Excel instance is okay, you don't have to rename that. Uh, we're going to retrieve a value of a single cell. 
the first column we're going to import are the new names. So the start column, in this case, is A, which contains the new names. The start row, we're going to click on the loop index we've just created. Last thing we need to do is rename this between the percent uh, symbols and we're going to name this the name of the persons. Okay, so let's see what we have done so far. We've created the launch Excel option. We've created the action to loop it. Uh, we've created the read from the Excel sheet. Uh, and we've loaded the first column, which is the names of the person. So now we're going to move on to the next column, which will be the old file names. So we're going to repeat the steps and drag in read from Excel again and place it between the read from Excel that was already there and the end. So the first two settings can remain uh, how they are. And now we're going to select the new column which will be the old file names, which is column D. So over here we fill in column D and the start row will be the loop again. So click the icon and select loop index. Now we just have to rename it and we're going to name this old names. Now we have to do one more column so we're going to drag in read from Excel again. And now we're going to select the column which contains the file names with the extension. So which in this case is column E. Start row, we're going to click on the loop. And we just have to rename it. And we're going to call this file names. Okay, what we did so far is enable Power Automate to read all the necessary data in the Excel sheet. Now we're going to add in the rename action, which will actually rename the files. In the upper left corner, we're going to search for rename and drag in the rename file option. We're going to place it between the last read from Excel action and the end. So first we're going to choose the file to rename. Click on the document icon and select one of the files to rename. And now comes the most interesting part. We're going to select data set one and get rid of that. And we're going to fill in a variable we've just created. So we're going to fill in the variable file name. This will allow Power Automate to get the data out of the sheet, which points to the files in the folder. Now we're going to select the option to replace the text. This will allow us to replace the old names with the new names. So for text to replace, we're going to select the old names, which is the variable we've created earlier. And we're going to replace it with the other variable we've created, the name of the persons. Over here, you can fill in what to do when a name already exists, do nothing or override it. So we're going to click save, and now all the actions we need are completed. So we're going to save the flow and run it to see what it does. Okay, so let's get the folder in the frame so we can follow on live what it does to the files. Okay, so in the top bar next to save, there is the run option, which will run all the action we've just created. Over here, you can see in Power Iron Maid what it does, but you can also open up the folder and you will see the results coming in. So now you can just sit back and relax and let Power Automate do its thing. So there you have it. Power Automate just batch renamed all the files for you. This makes it so much easier to find back your files in the folder. So thanks everyone who watched this and make sure to subscribe if it helped you.